a work of art thought by researchers to be one of just a couple by Leonardo da Vinci to have survived the half centuries since the craftsman's demise is set to be unloaded Wednesday in New York, where it is insured to offer for at any rate $100 million. Craftsmanship sweethearts have arranged by the thousands at unique pre-sale shows in Hong Kong, San Francisco, London and New York to see the main work by the Renaissance Ace in private hands. The 500-year-old oil painting delineating Christ holding a precious stone circle, called Salvator Mundi or Guardian Angel of the World, is one of less than 20 depictions by Leonardo da Vinci known to exist, as per Christie's, the close-out house directing the deal. I can scarcely pass on how energizing it is for those of us specifically engaged with its deal, said Christie's master Alan Wintermute. The word magnum opus scarcely starts to pass on the irregularity, significance and eminent magnificence of Leonardo's sketch. Wintermute called it the holy grail of old ace canvases. A supporter of the sale has ensured an offer of at any rate $100 million. Specialists have said it may be worth more, with the exception of its by and large poor condition of safeguarding and waiting inquiries regarding its legitimacy. The 26-inch painting dates from around 1500 and indicates Christ wearing Renaissance-style robes, his correct hand brought up in gift as his left hand holds a precious stone circle. The artwork's history is as strange as Jesus' perplexing look, which welcomes correlation with a superior known Leonardo work, the Mona Lisa. It was for quite some time known to have existed. It was known through duplicates and there were illustrations for it by Leonardo in Windsor Castle, yet it had been totally clouded by paint and it was kind of covered up in general visibility, Wintermute told CBS this morning not long ago. Salvator Mundi was possessed by King Charles I of England in the mid-1600s and was sold by the child of the Duke of Buckingham in 1763. It at that point vanished from sea until 1900 when it re-emerged and was obtained by a British authority. At the time, it was believed to be a work of a Leonardo supporter, as opposed to the ace himself. The painting was sold again in 1958 and afterward obtained in 2005, gravely harmed and mostly painted over, by a consortium of craftsmanship merchants who paid under $10,000. They re-established the depiction widely and reported its credibility as a work by Leonardo. The work's present proprietor is Russian extremely rich person Dmitry Rybolovlev, who got in 2013 for $127.5 million out of a private deal that turned into the subject of a proceeding with claim. Christie says a larger part of researchers trust it is a work by Leonardo, however some have scrutinized that assurance while others have said it was so broadly re-established that it is presumably more similar to a duplicate than a unique. In New York, where no exhibition hall claims a Leonardo, craftsmanship darlings arranged outside Christie's Rockefeller Center base camp on Tuesday to see Salvator Mundi. Inside, Christ's face appeared to illuminate the obscured display. Svetlana Kolova, who is from Bulgaria yet lives in New York now, called the artistic creation fantastic. It's an ideal affair, she said. It ought to be seen. It's magnificent it's in New York. I'm so fortunate to be in New York right now. Unidora Copley, a craftsman herself, said Salvator Mundi was justified regardless of great importance in addition to hold up. I won't think about the line, Copley said. I'll simply be thinking about the excellent painting.